In the last video, we saw due to the limitations of trivial system, union of scientists gathered together to introduce a new system which is called IUPAC or IUPAC system. It stands for International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry. With this system, today if I give you any organic compound, you will be able to name that. Not only that, if I even give the name of that compound, you will be able to draw its structure. It's interesting, right? So let's see how we name the organic compound based on this system. Here I have some of the organic compounds with their IUPAC names. So you can see clearly that there are I have differentiated this nomenclature in three different colors. One is in pink, green and orange. This means the IUPAC nomenclature has three parts. So these three parts are the first one which I have written in pink. It's called the prefix. The second part is the root word, it's the root word and the third part is the suffix, okay. So these three parts are called basic principles. So in order to name these organic compounds, we need to know the three basic principles. So you might have come across these terms prefix and suffix, right. So prefix means something comes before and suffix means something comes later. So let's not worry about prefixes and suffixes right now, about this we will talk separately in future video. So in this video we are going to talk about the root word. What is the root word? Root word refers to the total number of carbon atom present in a parent chain. So it refers to the total number of carbon atoms present in a parent chain. For root word, we have to keep two things in mind. One thing, it depends on the carbon atoms. Second thing is the parent chain. So whenever we hear the term root word, we have to count the total number of carbon atoms present. All right. Secondly, what is this parent chain? Now, pa parent chain means the longest carbon chain present in the compound. For example, now if I represent the carbon chain this way, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now these are the 5 carbon atom, this is in the form of chain and here the 5 carbon atom become the root word. Let's take another example, what if I have the carbon chain this way. So let's start counting, so if I count from in this fashion, it becomes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right. So in this fashion we have 5 carbon atom. What if I count like this, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In this fashion, there are 6 carbon atoms, right? What if I count this way, 1, 2, 3, 4, there are 4 carbon atoms. So which is the longest chain we saw here? This is 5, this is 6 and this is 4. So clearly, the longest chain we can see is this one, right? So this becomes your parent chain. Now this is not the parent chain. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's not a parent chain or 1, 2, 3, 4, that's not a parent chain. So parent chain, whenever you are choosing, you have to choose the longest carbon chain. It can be of any shape. Okay, what are the root words given for different carbon atoms? So scientists derive these root words from the Greek word. So now let's see the different root words. Okay, let's draw two columns. In one, we will represent the number of carbon atom. In the other, let us write the root word. Alright, let's write the root word. If there is one carbon atom present, then the root word given for that is meth. We call it meth. If there are two carbon atoms present, the root word used is eth. If there are three, we call it prop. If there are four, but. So it's called but, it's not but. Okay, so if there are 5, we call it pent, 6 is hex, 7 is hept, 8 opt, 9 non, 10 deck. So what if we have 11, 11 it's called undeck, 12 it's called dodeck. 13, it will be tridec. 14, it will be tetradec. So you can go up till 20, which is icos. 
So don't worry too much about this. If you know till 10 carbon atoms, it is sufficient. Even if you are not getting it right away, that's totally fine. No problem at all. Uh, by practice, you will understand it better. You might have come across these terms pent, hex and math, right? So you have this uh, pentagon or hexagon. So you know that this pentagon means, okay, this particular structure has five sides. Hexagon has six sides. So you can directly relate that pent and hex to, to the sides. Similarly, instead of sides, here we represent it to the carbon atoms. So here we understand that, okay, if it is pent, that means it is having five carbons. Okay, this is how scientists gave the root word. Now let's come back to our uh, earlier example. Now if you notice here, I have represented all the root words in this color, right? Now let's go back and check why this root word is used. So if you count the total number of carbon atom in this chain, you can see there is one, two, three, four. So there are four carbon atoms. So what is the root word we give for four carbon atoms? Yes, we call it but, right? That's why we have given the name but here. Similarly, let's check for the second one. We have one, two, three. Can this be a carbon chain? No, this, I think it's a short chain, right? Okay, let's check here. One, two, three, four, five. Remember, it has to be always chain. We can't count. I did not tell that you have to count all the carbon atoms present. No, you have to count the total number of carbon atom in a parent chain. Okay, so parent chain is the longest chain. So this becomes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Either this can be a parent chain or this can be a parent chain. But total number of carbon atoms present in the parent chain is 5. So what should be the root word used for 5? It is pent. So therefore we have pent here. Similarly, let's go for the next one. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is a parent chain, right? We don't have any other carbon atom. Yes. So there are seven carbon atoms present here. So what should be the root word used? Hept. So do we have hept? Wow. So this is how we can easily understand what is the root word given. Or given the root word, we can also figure out how many carbon atoms are there. Okay, now let's find out root word for these compounds. Okay, in the first compound, we have one, two, three, four, four carbon atoms. So let's check what is the root word used for four carbon atoms. So it is but. So the root word used here is but. Now why don't you try getting root word for rest of the compounds? If you have tried, let's do the second one. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if you have seven carbon atoms, what is the root word used? The root word used is hept. So here the root word is hept. In the next one, we have one, two, Okay, what is this? Is this a carbon atom? No, this is not a carbon atom. Cl is chlorine and chlorine is not carbon. Here the total number of carbon atoms present are 2. So what is the root word we give for 2 carbon? It is eth. You can see here it is eth. Similarly, next one we have 1. This is a carbon 2, 3. So total number of carbon atom are 3. So the root word used is prop. What about the fifth one? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, okay, this is also connected, right? So this becomes a chain. 8, 9. That means the total number of carbon atom present here are 9. And what is the root word we are using for 9? It is non. Okay, one last thing I want to tell you all is how to remember these four things. I, I'm sure that you might have heard this pent hex in your lower classes before, right? But this meth, eth, probe, but is new to you all. I like to remember this by a simple mnemonic. So it is monkeys eat peeled bananas. So if you remember this mnemonic, you can take the first letter, okay, M is meth, E is eth, P is probe, B is pute. So monkeys eat peeled bananas, if you remember this, you can at least remember, you know, the first letter of this and you can recall their root words. To summarize, in this video, we studied about the root word. So root word refers to the total number of carbon atom present in a parent chain. So if I give you any carbon atom, just by counting the total number of carbon, we get the root word. Hope you have understood.